Hey boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to make your Van Gogh inspired sunflower. I want your centers to be very big, so what you could do is place your hand down on your paper and trace a circle around your hand. You can see that my circle is not perfect, so don't worry about yours being perfect either. Or another option is to find a circular object in your home, like this water bottle I'm using, or you could use a cup or a bowl and then trace around that. Next, we're going to start drawing the petals of our sunflower. I'm going to show you two ways on how to do this. The first way is to draw it like a leaf from a tree. And how we do that is we draw two very thin or tall C shapes or curvy lines, if you will. Next, you could just do an upside down V and then draw two curvy lines that meet at the circle. I'm going to continue it that way, so I'm going to erase this little petal here. Now we want our petals to be very close together so we can fit as many as we can onto our sunflower. So the lines of your petals should either be almost touching or they are touching. Just like that. Now I also want to point out that it is okay if your petals are not all the same exact size. You can see here that this petal that I'm drawing is very, very big, and that's okay. Rarely ever when I'm drawing flowers, my petals are the same size. So once again, my petals are never the same size when I am drawing flowers, and that is okay. Next, this is, this is an optional step. You could add a second layer of petals, and I am just drawing little Vs in between the first petals that I drew. Once again, this is optional. And then we're gonna draw the stem of our flower and drawing two vertical lines going all the way to the edge of the paper. And then we're gonna draw two more, or you could just do one little leaf or petal on the stem of our flower. Once you're finished drawing that, you could actually add another little sunflower if you want, or you can just skip that and start tracing your flower in black crayon or marker or color pencil, wherever you have at home. And then once you've done trace, you've done, you're done tracing in black, you can add a couple little dots in the center to have sort of a texture. And I'm going to show you three different options for coloring here. You could use a golden yellow, you could just use a regular yellow, or orange, whatever you have at home. You could actually use a combination of all three if you would like to, and that's what I'm going to do. Then once you're done coloring the petals, the center should be brown and then the stem is green. Our last step is to color the background blue to make it look like our sunflower is against the sky. You could do this in watercolor if you have it, or you can just continue with crayon or color pencil or marker. And if you want to add clouds in the sky, you could also try that as well. Once it's done, set it aside to dry. Have fun, boys and girls.